Well, good morning to you. It's Friday, and it's raining. I will loud thunder and rain. I figured, well, I have a project I was getting ready to do this morning, so outside, we got a um, new, used to us, um, bush hog. The other one, it was the woods, and it, the sides were bending under, and I bent it back out and tried to weld it. Just not very strong metal. You can't really weld to it. It burns through it. So we found an Italian-made one uh, from a good friend of mine, Rick. I swear he could sell you an island in the middle of the ocean. But if I need something, I know who to reach out to, and I knew who would have one. So he found us this... this it's an Italian-made one, but man, it is like it's a stump jumper. It is built like a tank. So <laughs> we'll see how that does on the tractor. It's a seven-foot wide, and we had a six. So it was nice to get a little bit wider, but not extreme, and I think the tractor will handle it fine. But this morning, I figured, well, it's raining. So let's just do a live. Because I got to build up my lives in order to have more people on it, such and such and such. I figured, well, I'd come in here and I've got this creation right here. This is um, some sycamore uh, wood that we had out for a long time, and some of it we've probably just left out. So I'm cutting little blocks out of it. And I got all these little blocks. So I figured, you know what? They'd be cool to make like little coasters or like shallow dishes out of. So I've got to cut. I got a couple bar to cut them on the bandsaw. Here I need to get a bigger bandsaw because that one, when I need taller stuff, I can't really get it in there. Um, but I figured, you know what? Let's do a real quick turning this morning live. And this is probably the wrong spur to use. I probably need to use the wider one because it can kind of wobble a little bit. But if you can do it wrong and make it come out right, well, that's kind of me. You know, I'm hard-headed. But uh, I just didn't want all the screw holes in it. And I didn't want to, because uh, in the back, I just want to make a shallow saucer with a little rim. I'll give you a picture. Kind of what I wanted to do. This is what it should come out to. And the, so, and this side, I didn't go as deep. I think the other one, I wanted to make more of a shallow like dish out of it. And then leave this on one side so that way that way you can kind of use it as a saucer or a hot pad or who knows what make it more versatile so you got both sides that you can use to uh you know make it work for you so i'm going to set you up on the camera stand and move around a little bit and uh see if we can turn this this uh dish coaster whatever you want to call it real quick and hopefully the, the rain will let up to where we can uh, go outside. And I want to, I got to take the um, backhoe off the tractor. And I might show how to do that. Because the John Deere is really nice. It's got a subframe that goes underneath it. And there's a few pins. It's actually not that bad. Then I got to put the three-point hitch control arms back. And then I want to hook up that wood, uh, that new um, brush hog. And go try it. I wish it didn't rain, but hey, that'd be a good test for it. I sharpened the blades yesterday, checked all the gear oil, looked it over. This one, it seems to be a little narrower as far as where it hooks up at, so I, I thought we have to adjust the three point hitch on it. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and get to turning this right here real quick this morning. Let me get you, it'd be a little awkward here. Hold on, it'd be a little wiggly. I gotta get you off the stand. So. I'm not sure which view to use, whether to use the front of the camera or to use the back of the camera. But here I can at least see by looking up what you see. So let me get my face shield here. And I'm going to go cover my coffee up real quick because it will be full of, of uh, sawdust. And I don't want to get my coffee messed up. leave my coffee five seconds and there's already a bug in oh well i guess he'll be nice and drunk on coffee and i won't have any coffee 
So let's see. I'm going to start off with. I'm going to use some of these scrapers here to do this with. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten the back out a little bit, try to do my little shallow dish back here. And uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully I don't knock it off the thing. It's got a little teeny point there. And you see what I'm doing? To take a whole lot out in the back. At least I was trying not to, because I can't get to the center. So if I take a bunch off the side, well, I may have the palm sander and I can sand it down. That's why I did another one. I just don't want to take any more than I have to, just enough to get it to get it round or you know flat on this side. bring you around here in a second I just got to make sure I got I got a little spot right here where it's not hitting and if I don't get it all covered where I set it down on the counter it'll uh it won't be flat I'm gonna try to square cutter see if I can do a little better with that kind of awkward here I think I got, I got it good enough. Let's work on the front. You can't see what the heck I'm doing. Let's go ahead and get this thing trued up as far as round goes. So I can't hide any mistakes now because I'm live. So let's make sure I don't make any, right? I guess. We'll find out. quite got a nice flat spot there so I can do a little bit quicker with this one 
and flatten it out with that one. can't put too much pressure because I'm relying on this, this squeezing it and this one has a little teeny point and what's happening is I'm working it it'll spin on this chuck over here so I can't get super aggressive with it close if we got it yet. Oh, a little bit more. This thing doesn't want to give. I got a little bit of a soft spot right there. Uh, we'll have to try to work through that. do this make sure you got a good vacuum because you make a lot of mess almost there but then I kind of discovered a little bit of a soft spot there I say this wood was kind of we probably should have done something with it or put it up years ago but you know how it is you get busy I do this one a little different. I want to make them all exactly the same. We'll make a little dent there. So now we can play with the front here. Get it evened up. Now one thing with these cutters right here, like I said on a lot of my videos, this is taller than if you use the traditional one. So you've got to hold it down so that you're right at center or just below it in order to uh, get it to work. If you're too high, what you end up doing is doing this number, and you really start gouging. So the uh, key with these um, is to keep these down a little bit lower, and you can control how much it digs into it by lifting up and down a little bit.
problem being that I'm using a small spindle on the back instead of a large plate. When you're pushing out here, you're it's torquing it a little bit. So every once in a while, the closer you get to here, you need to tighten it up. Looks like I got a little bit of fresh stuff left on there. Let's clean that up. And that's why when you hear it slow down and grind and it, bis it twists a little bit. So what you got to do is uh, just be a little easy as you go in. As you get closer, you can be more aggressive. to get all that color off of there get it close some of that can be seen and I don't think it's off that much we'll go ahead and get it See, I reached out a little far on that one, and the gap is dug in. So, like I say, all I have is a slip in spur back here, so I can't remove the headstock uh, from it. So, the more I come into here, the more I'm going to lose pressure, the more the bowl might want to move. So, the trick is going to be to get most of the outside done and get as close as I can before I get in there too much so I can still have the pressure on it. I got a little bit of a weirdness going on there I need to fix up. Alright, now we'll get a little closer. That way I'm not reaching so far. That's part of the issue. Alright, let's see how close we can get in. To the center here. A little weirdness there going on. I don't know if it's jumping. Some of this is a little bit softer. You can see, you know, so it. I'm going to see if I can speed it up real quick just to help me clean it up. We're at about 12.90 now. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, as long as I stay above a thousand.
Alright, let's see how awkward this gets. <laughs> like I say, it's just a slip on spur back here. It's not bolted or attached to it in any kind of way. So, uh, all my pressure is like right in here. So, I gotta be kind of careful how I do that. I want to make sure my back is kind of what I want. Actually, I'd like to have it a little deeper um, than what I have. So, let's fix that real quick. So I'm not happy with that. I get one chance of this. Once I undo that, then I have to, that's it. Decisions you got to make along the way. when you're live you can't uh there's no camera cut action you just gotta do it if you make a mistake you make a mistake but i say once i undo this right here this is going to kind of fall down so i'm going to keep my speed down low and i'm going to use my small bowl gouge just to cut my way in there and we'll slow the speed down. We'll get it way down to around 500. Just enough to cut it. Some of it will be sanding. That's as low as it'll go on this setting. Good. I think I can just break that off and sand that. I think that'll be best. And I'll show you what, what I'm talking about and what I have it hooked up to. It's all has this here because I didn't want to put holes back here. There's already a little hole there. I didn't want a big hole back there. So I'll break that off. And I'll just have to sand that. You know, I can take my little... uh vibratory tool and cut that off and sand it i wanted a little bit deeper bowl uh this time i actually wish i had gone a little bit deeper but i have a whole bunch of blanks over there so if i don't get it right this time i might get it right by the time i get to the last one but like i said i didn't want to mount a screwed on uh plate back here because i didn't want all those little holes in it so i i do have a a bowl sheet that will lock onto this but uh, I have to take off and on the uh, little expanders uh, that hold the little nubs on them whatever you call them thingy but um, and until I get another chuck where I can just set it up with those I don't want to keep switching one back and forth so it is what it is you know it's like when you first start out I used to do this years ago and I kind of did it a little bit. Now I want to do it a little bit more and a little more passionate and got more time. So I figured maybe I could make a little money at it. At least enough to pay for all this equipment that I put on my credit cards. <laughs> we'll see. I know YouTube ain't paying nothing out. That's for sure. So anyways, thanks for watching. Happy Friday. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. And have a great weekend. Be blessed and be safe.